Hello guys, in this video we'll learn how to optimize our Rust binaries for a smaller size. As we know, an optimized Rust binary has reduced storage requirements, faster deployment, improved load times, lower memory usage, and at time enhance security by reducing the surface of attack and avoiding potential vulnerabilities. And there are endless other benefits of a shrink or optimized binary. So in this video, we'll learn to build our Rust code optimally We'll apply each optimization in practice and visualize the difference in size from a larger binary to a very small and shrink optimized binary which does the same job. So let's begin. First of all move to the project explorer. Now our interest in this video is to learn binary optimizations so we'll not be adding any application code. So you can use any existing project. I'm using a project where I'm connecting to a DB and have a few queries that is list users get user by id create user update user and delete users i'll drop this code in the description so you guys can also use the same code to perform binary optimizations but if you have any other existing project feel free to use that as you can see we have controller layer and make sure whichever project are you using must have some dependencies so we can visualize the size differences that our optimizations can really make so we'll close all other files because all the work we'll be doing today is in cargo terminal. So first of all, we'll build our project as it is without applying any optimizations and we'll build in debug or dev mode. So we'll just do cargo build white. And then we'll just do du minus h to visualize the size. So target debug and the name of our project. So rust db. As you can see the original build size of our binary is 2.2 mb now we'll build in release mode remember right now we have still not applied any kind of optimizations we are just building in different modes previously we built in debug mode now we are building in release mode which by default should apply some optimizations so make sure whenever you are building your uh, docker image for your production or you are building uh, the binary for your production release make sure to build with release flag so once we build as you can see it clearly says release profile optimized targets so basically it has already applied a few optimizations and now let's see the size and release as you can see the debug size was 2.2 mb and the release size is 7336 kb now we can optimize more and reduce the size more or so by 50 percent or 60 percent now let's see what other optimizations we can apply so back to the project so here we'll add profile release and optimization level is z now optimization level is z optimize our binary for size rather than speed basically it reduces the size of compiled binary by applying size specific optimizations the next one that we have is lto is equals to true now lto or link time optimization enables optimization across the entire program at linking stage potentially reducing the binary size and improving the performance by eliminating unused or dead code and inlining the function across the create boundaries so this one is super useful and optimizes your rust binary significantly next optimization is code generation unit as one allowing the compiler to perform more aggressive optimizations across the entire crate which can lead to smaller binaries next optimization that we have is panic strategy and we have couple of values for this unwind or abort so we'll use abort now this changes the panic strategy to abort meaning the program will terminate immediately on panic without unwinding the stack reducing the binary size by eliminating the need of panic related code now i would highly recommend use this if you have proper error logging already on your application and you are sure that if your application encounter panic and it could abort without you know unwinding the whole stack for your debugging or troubleshoot purposes only then use this strategy but from optimization approach this 
also helps optimize your code significantly and the next one that we have is trip and we'll set it to true so strip is equals to true automatically strips symbols from the binary removing debugging information and other non-essential data which reduces the size of final executable so these are the some optimizations that we are applying on our release profile now last time that we see our release just by using cargo release the size was 736 kb now let's rebuild the release binary so we'll just do cargo build in release and now let's compare the size so we'll just use the same command as you can see it's reduced to 364 kb from the original one that we had is 2.2 mb so initially we had 2.2 mb in debug mode then in release mode we had 736 kb but as you can see we have dropped it down all the way to 364 kb so as you can see it's reduced by more than uh, around 50 percent so uh, you, you might not apply all of these in your project but make sure to use them in your project whenever you can probably something like lto code generation unit strip and optimization level but panic again uh, make sure if you are using it then you have proper logging and uh, alerting for your application so that's it for this video guys i hope you guys uh, learned these optimizations and apply on your project and drop down your ideas in the comments uh, and how how you feel about these i'll catch you guys in the next video with some other interesting topic until then bye bye